Welcome back guys, it is time to sandblast. I have been busy this morning doing emails and trying to edit another video and Deb has been putting in work. Taping. How long have you been taping? A couple hours? Yes. I'm gonna flip this around so you can see what's going on. keep all of this patina well the most that we can we got to cut the lower quarter out replace rockers which will fake that back in but anyway so got to keep this uh, got to keep our paint looking good when we sandblast so uh but get all the rust out in the jams and then we're gonna sandblast in the doors here so that way they'll have nice nice finish here and then sandblast in here so doing it before we put the quarters on because that's so rusty and trying to weld to that so anyways so mom has been tape queen today going around taping on the edges so you want me you to want stop to show them the rest of the car you want to show them the rest of the car explain that that's why the car can't be great so I guess there's, I've made quite a few posts um, at this point and people have asked why I didn't brace it, why we didn't brace it when we were cutting out the floors. Um, that's because it was like this. Um, it was all rotted. There was literally nothing. This was never gonna be anything other than a race car or as dad liked to say, a sign. So um, anyways, that's why there was no bracing. It's going to be a full tube chassis, but basically this is, this is what it looked like. You can see there was nothing to brace to. The car was already rusted. Yeah, it was, it was already. It was literally the quarter panels <laughs> and the front cow were not attached to each other. Yeah, so anyways, that's uh, that's what that looked like. We're getting ready to get the sandblaster out, and Mika's favorite thing is to go to this back shop. She never gets this excited, but she hears the keys. She will run her nose into the door. Hang on, Mika, I don't know which key it is. Here, can you do this? There's a key on there that opens a padlock. Inside. I'm trying to show Mika. What is your deal? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> so much excitement! Okay, you like this ET look? My nice American Eagle <laughs> sweatshirt that I dug out. So uh, basically, I was trying to sandblast all last week because the weather is working rather against us. Um, I am a big old baby when it comes to cold weather. And <laughs> today is going to be one of the warmest days in the next week. So don't necessarily want to be sandblasting, but if we don't today, Tomorrow the temperature is dropping <laughs> and then after Monday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is rain and then there's going to be a break, but they're going to be like 30 degree days and then there's a chance of snow next week. So <laughs> decided to go ahead and tough it out and sandblast. The only downside is other than the cold, it's pretty wet out here. Uh, we've got a lot of rain lately, so my sandblasting pad here is all wet, but last week, last week was better. It was sunny. It was, that was would have been better, but uh, other projects got in the way. That's okay though. So, um, sandblasting now. So, <laughs> I've been saying that. I think I've made this video like three times because I thought I was going to sandblast like three different days. So, that's a lot of rambling for nothing. But, anyways, getting sandblast out. It's up to sandblast out now. all set up that is heavy dad and i were lifting it that's heavy heavy stomach of a gun we are getting the sand filled up uh dad goes to the compressor running that's what he's working on and then getting this full so then we can get the blast
So she's filling up, I think, her third pot, which is 300 pounds a piece, I believe. So it's not getting very far, but it's because it's got a lot of rust. But she's got all the cowl up underneath the cowl, inside both doors, and she's starting in that quarter panel over there. Everything from the holes down will be replaced on that side. We're gonna replace this front quarter on this side, but we're gonna get all the rust out of the roof and all the quarter panels and all around this cowl, the windshield, the back glass, but we're not gonna bother the outside. We've got this taped up. The part that we wanna leave the paint on is taped up with duct tape. So it's going pretty well. Okay, update. It's looking better. So this part will be cut out so we're not blasting that part. Same there. Um, the roof had a lot of rust so keeping from warping it. It is freezing, like cold cold. But I get this and then gotta get the back glass which I'm getting ready to do. And then I think we're almost done. Are you gonna do the roof again? I don't think so. It'll warp. We'll just sand it from here on. It's pretty good. We need to touch some stuff up like that and we can blast at it, you know, from a distance. But it's too, like right here. Yeah. I think that was already there. I saw it flexing when I was blasting. Typically blasting on the inside won't warp it like blasting on the outside i think that was probably already there this brace looks bowed down so somebody's been on the roof in the past but we'll stand back and just kind of wash it but we'll sand it with the da sander to get most of that off but it's pretty clean yeah Yesterday was a lot of blasting. It was pretty cold, not gonna lie, but it looks pretty good, a little bit better. So it does look real good. Does look real good. So today is the last, not even warm day, but the last non-snowy, rainy day for like a week. So I'm gonna flip around, show you what we got done, where it sits, but we're gonna take it outside, acid treat it, and then try to- Wait, come over here. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm backwards here. How can they, look at that. <laughs> Hang on, let me flip this. Let me flip this. Okay. That does. That does. Look at that. that I mean, it doesn't good. matter if you're a patina fan or not. That just looks bitching. That that looks good. I, mean, I do like that. I don't see any point of painting that because it just looks nasty. It looks good. So we had to go through with uh, gas yesterday and uh, get all the tape off. And it made like the patina shine with the gas because it was wet. And so we're like, that looks real good. Yeah, so... Really take it outside, acid treat it, and then um, go and like scotch bright it and try to bring, you know, get some of the roughness yeah, off and then uh, try to make it shine a little bit. Look See at that. it shiny. It just, it's vibrant. Yeah, look at the, it does, it makes the rust look good too. So, that's what we try to get today. And then decided and down here instead of replacing this full quarter well the full lower half of this quarter because this is the only bad part I'm trying to save as much as this as we can so we're going to take just a pat panel to cut this part down here so back to the cold okay 
got it all set up. <laughs> There's not really that much set up. Got it out here though. We just sat it on the ground because I'm too short to do it if it was on a uh, saw horses. It's starting to miss, which is also not good because Dad's got a frame to sandblast. So, um, anyways, enough about the weather. Basically, spray it down, scotch bright it, metal treated. Good to go, wash it off. Okay, got the outside pretty much scotch brighted and acided, acid treated, whatever. Anyways, got that pretty much done. Go back and maybe do some touch up on some of the rough rust. At the back, I started sanding it with some 80 grit just to kind of, as you can see here, smooth it down just a little. So there's a couple places I probably need to go back and do that too, like up here. But other than that, the outside's pretty much done. And on the inside, it'd be super easy. All you gotta do is go on and spray it, let it sit for a few minutes, and then wash it off. So it turns it this like gold color. So that is the move now, but progress. So after we got done getting the body prepped and everything for actually going to metal work, decided to go ahead and start on it that day because we needed to get panels ordered. Um, so that way we could get them coming, but we didn't know if we could save that rear lower quarter on the driver's side So we had to just start hammering out trying. I was like that's gonna be out of order for the video, whatever Anyways, so throw that in here. We started on body work immediately right after that day So got a little bit of that for this video as well Don't know if this rear one this rear lower quarter will be savable or not. It's pretty rough Dad's gonna come back and uh, try to get this beat out and then well, that way we'll know if we need to order it or not. So let's Just whack a couple see. Of whack them. All. That's coming out. Look at it. Yeah, it looks better. I was watching it happen. I'm gonna do a walk around so you can see how bad it was. This right here was bad. That's been, what, an hour's worth of beating? Yeah, so I'm going to scotch bright the inside um, and he's going to do Patch some more hammering, hole patching. Straighten this. And plan, Stan. And then we'll get the panels ordered, but just that panel now and the rockers also before I forget the walk around so you know the before so, you can see the bends and that it's not straight and then you can see how bent all of this is everything is bent what? I was saying everything is bent they use it for a truck. So then you can see how bad the side of this is. This lower one was was awful, so it's coming out though.
lots of simultaneous work going on while well, dad's fixing the back back there i went ahead and got this quarter cut out roughed in so i'm gonna order the panels tomorrow and they're actually shipping from just like an hour two hours away from us to be here the next day and he's got oh that's looking better it'd be better if i didn't have to weld on his leg yeah so walking lead back here but regardless, it's still looking a lot better because that's what it did look like. But that one's fixed. Now I just gotta fix the curve inside. Good progress. So this is the before. The other side was actually worse than this. There's the before. That's the before. It's not even together. That's the after. So, I mean, still got some cleaning up, as you said, but. We'll sand it up. I gotta grind a little bit more, but we'll do just a little bit of Bondo. I don't wanna do much Bondo, but just a little bit to hide some of the holes and then we'll fake patina it back like it used to be. So uh, before that was not even, it was barely holding itself together, so. And it was all smashed. Yeah. We don't want to replace it. I've got pieces we could weld in there that are much better shape, but we want it to look like the rest of the car. You've heard of that movie, Fast and Furious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is fast and ugly. <laughs> but that's what we're gonna keep it. He's ugly, but it's so ugly, it's, it's pretty. I keep saying, I'm like, every time we do something, there's less car. But there has to be less car before there can be more car. <laughs> there's yeah. a, there's a go backwards before you can go <laughs> I got this cleaned up. Been grinding on this, getting sharp edges taken care of. There's lots more of those, but mom scotched this a little bit earlier. Um, got some of the rough or the loose stuff off. So, more work, but it's getting closer. Okay, and that is it for this episode. So, some patch panels still waiting on some new panels to make it, but pretty close to seeing a solid car again. So, stay tuned for next week. We will get the panels back on, and then I'm sure there'll be lots of other stuff added in there as well. As always, be happy, go fast, and stay pretty. I will see you guys next time.